Thanks for tuning in to Jamaica News YouTube channel for the latest news in Jamaica. Please like, share, and subscribing to be the first to be in the know of what is happening in Jamaica. Here are today's updates, there is a desperate search for boy who was washed away by flood. Using their phones to provide lighting, scores of residents from the August Town community scoured through the gully that leads to Hope River in search of nine-year-old Kyle Richards who is believed to have been washed away by a raging torrent yesterday afternoon. The look of disappointment and anguish was visible on their faces as they searched for the youngster who was on his way home to Goldsmith Villa when tragedy struck. Is like a history repeat itself. About 20 years ago, the same thing happened to two other children from the community and now this. Me feel it to me bottom of my heart. Is a jovial little boy and me always see him a come home a evening time. The goalie did really come over hard this evening, yesterday, so it would a hard fi him find him way home. Light did all gone for a while and it never come back until to eight, so that kinda make it difficult too, a man told the news team. According to police reports, the youngster, who attends Hope Valley Experimental School, was in the company of his aunt and three other children when he was swept away by the current. Among the search team was Inspector Claudia Bailey Finlayson, who stated that the police had got reports of the incident about 3.45 p.m. and they have been searching the area since. Information received is that the aunt of the child was taking them home from school and they took a shortcut which leads to Goldsmith Villa. The aunt had two of the children in her arms, another in front of her and Kyle was at the back. He was playing in the water by the culvert and she told him to stop and come on and by the time she turned around, he was swept away, she said. Since the incident was reported, we have been searching the entire gully that starts at Mona Road and ends in the Hope River along with residents, the political representative and the fire brigade. We are doing a really extensive search that stretches as far as Harborview and Bull Bay and the Marine Police are also on board, she said. The police said the search for Little Kyle would resume today. The heavy rainfall that has been impacting the island over the last four days has caused flooding in several parishes. Yesterday, the Meteorological Service issued a flash flood watch for low-lying areas. In other news, there is flash flood warning. The Meteorological Service has issued a flash flood watch for low-lying and flood-prone areas of St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland, St. Thomas, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, and St. Andrew. It will remain in effect until 5 a.m. Thursday. A broad trough across Jamaica and the Central Caribbean continues to produce unstable weather conditions across sections of the island. Satellite imagery and rainfall data indicate that moderate to heavy showers and thunderstorms have been affecting sections of most parishes with the greatest intensity being recorded over eastern and central parishes. The forecast is for periods of showers and thunderstorms which could be heavy at times to continue into this evening with the greatest intensity over eastern and central parishes. Flash flooding is therefore a possibility over low-lying and flood-prone areas of these eastern and central parishes. A flash flood watch means that flash flooding is possible and residents are advised to take precautionary measures, keep informed by listening to further releases from the Meteorological Service and be ready for quick action if flooding is observed or if a warning is issued. The Meteorological Service will continue to monitor the situation. Thanks for listening, please remember to subscribe for the latest breaking news in and around Jamaica. Thank you and God bless you.